And we are live. Welcome to the podcast, Mo Saeed Fitness Coaching. And Martin. Martin, how do you say your full name? Martins Barnowskis. Martins Barnowskis, Fitness Coaching. Yeah, fitness this, is, this is a special one. This is the, you're, by the way, you're my first guest. And it's an honor to have you as a guest. Yeah. <laughs> an honor to be your guest, man. <laughs> no, no, it's an honor to have you as a guest because I've always wanted to have a chat with you. You know, we met through FDM. Yeah. And uh, yeah, man, I saw you. I'm like, damn, bro, this guy's killing it. This guy's doing his thing, you know. So uh, it's nice to meet you. It's nice to have a chat with you as well. And I'm, I'm sure it's going to be very, very interesting. So I found just as a beginning, just tell us about yourself. You know, what do you do? I know what you do, but just to tell the world, what do you do? And so, uh, how did you start? Hmm, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm still young. I'm 23 years old. Uh, nice. Started my fitness journey around 12 years ago. Damn. Oh, yeah, I was really young. I, I have this picture where, where I'm doing the splits like a karate kid. You know, I had like 11 years and I, I, I had abs. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I had abs when I was 11 years old. Um, nice. And that's because I had the, a grown up friends who were pushing me going to the gym. They were like, we need to build up this small guy. <laughs> And uh, then I became this small Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know. <laughs> uh, I started to compete in uh, fitness. I went on the stage a few times. I kind of lost motivation because, you know, I was the youngest one who was in the stage. I was like, ah, oh, this is crazy. The finances uh, for, for, for the dieting, for preparing, it, it just takes a lot. And I was like, okay, I, I just need to do, it, do, do this as a hobby. And I started to do this um, powerlifting, weightlifting. I went also on a few competitions on powerlifting. I, I was bench pressing, squatting a lot. I have this, uh, these uh, leg gains from my father, you know, yeah, <laughs> so nice. I needed to use them. <laughs> nice, man. Uh, then, then I started to do offline coaching, like uh, just normal guy who is just mm, doing the gym stuff and then helping others. And... Yeah, I was all the time like something is wrong. Something is wrong. I, I'm putting so much effort into it. Like I'm not getting the return of, uh, of my effort investment. Like I was like, what, what should I do? And uh, this actually was one year ago. Uh, we were, m me and my good friend, we were skiing in one of the uh, cool places in, uh, in uh, Sweden. It's nice. called Are. It's nice. such an amazing place. And we were just watching one movie. Maybe you know the Game Changer. Yeah, of course. We both are fitness guys, you know. Yeah, of course. And we were like, Some, something is something cool is in this movie, and we were like, maybe we should try. We haven't tried to eat any meat, you know. We we always was on meat diet, and we were just lifting heavy, eating meat. Holy shit! And you know, it's it mm. just that's what we do. <laughs> and we and we we watched that movie. We watched. After that movie, we watched documentary about, uh, I, I guess it's called Knive, Knives and Forks or Forks and Knives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forks and Knives. I've seen it. Yeah. Like and then we get this uh, bad feeling that the animals are dying, you know, because of us. And also one burger costs a, a lot of water from our world. And we mm. were like, okay, we need to start with ourselves. <laughs> yeah. And what we did, we opened the fridge and we throw everything out the, meat, the milk the meat from another day we're gonna start the vegan stuff that's it and dude we started we we keep each other accountable for a while and after first months i felt like yeah so many benefits are coming in my life like i have this uh stable mood all the time i i can get more things done because i'm not craving for food because it's, I don't know, I can kind of can't describe it. Uh, the body is used to, when he, when I eat, for example, the body slows down. It, it mm. just drops the energy. Yeah. And it feels weird when you, when you drop the energy, you kind of get up the energy and then the body is asking again for the food. Mm. And, and I was like, oh, this is not happening again with me. I can, I can just eat in the morning, eat in the lunch eating the supper and i feel good mm. and in between i have the stable energy and i was like whoa but i was scared to lose gains in the gym okay because 
it, it was the corona time you know oh exactly in the moment started this corona time and the gyms were closed and i started to do this uh, home workouts mm. and rows the the chair dips, uh, the pull-offs, you know, the crazy stuff. <laughs> the elevated push-ups. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I bang those out, bro. <laughs> exactly. And, and, I, and I wanted to go back to the gym to see how the things are going. If I have lost a lot or I, if I have gained a lot. Because, uh, of course, I shrinked a bit. Mm. But, but that, that was because I had, didn't have any workouts in between. Mm. Like the heavy workouts. And... When I went to the gym, first two weeks were terrible. Like I felt like, oh shit, I'm I'm totally zoom I zoom out, zoomed out from the gym. Yeah. I, I felt weak, you know. And then after first month, oh, I'm getting better. After third month, I was like, I am the monster now. And now it's just going up and going up and going up. I can see that I'm getting back my bench press uh, personal record. Nice. I can squat the same. I can deadlift the same. I'm like this thing actually works nice and the coolest stuff was even without trying i lost like nine kilos and actually that was my goal and and the funniest stuff was that i have reached my goal already two years ago but i didn't know that because my goal wasn't clear enough but now i'm looking back man I could be in this shape already two years ago, you know? Mm. And now I lost like those nine kilograms. Now I'm like 95, almost all the time lean. Like, I don't know, maybe 10, 9% body fat. Feeling great, feeling strong. Just enjoying eating everything what I love to, you mm. know? I'm not that kind of guy who eats only the salad uh, with a or drinking bro uh, water yeah, yeah, yeah. broccoli <laughs> i'm not that kind of guy yeah, 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 yeah. My, my my plate looks insane it is just there is everything the, yeah the, no bro you you look, like rain, you look full, like a beast full, full rainbow on the plate <laughs> <It was> insane. <laughs> that's insane bro you're 95 kilos that's crazy 95 kilos. <laughs> that's mad you're 95 kilos lean as well holy yeah. shit holy shit that's i'm crazy. 185 centimeters Nice. 185. So you're my height, 95 yeah. kgs. That's nice. crazy. Nice. Good for you, bro. Good for you. That's Yeah, that's... This, this is the weight where I want to stay. I feel okay. the best. I can do a lot of pull-ups. I can do, I can run. I have mm. such a good endurance now. This is yeah. my weight, I would say so. <laughs> Interesting, fam. That's very good. That's very nice. So when did you start this plant-based, by the way? It was uh, last year in December. Nice. In nice. Last year in December. And you, you coach now plant-based as well, don't you? Yeah, I coach it. So you're actually a coach that teaches people how to go plant-based and how to get stronger and get fitter, build muscle, lose weight through a plant-based diet, yeah? Exactly. I do it only with a plant-based diet. Some nice, people man. are out to me like, hey, can you make a meal plan without plant-based diet? No, 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 no. I'm putting all effort into the plant-based diet. I want to nail it down. I want to be, you know, the beast. <laughs> nice, man. Nice. Good for you. I mean, look, bro, it's uh, it's like you said, you know, they they dis they kill these animals like it's genocide. It's actually genocide. There's a there's a documentary that I watched called man, it's it's a documentary based in Australia. And this whole documentary is about three hours long. And what they do is they get footage of what is happening inside these slaughterhouses. Yeah. And inside these slaughterhouses, they show pure footage of what is going on from the moment the animal is born until the moment it dies yeah and bro it is genocide what they do to these animals they destroy them like honestly they're like slaves that are that are born from the moment they're born until they die they're slaves to be eaten by us and it's it's crazy what they do to these animals bro it's crazy what they go through these animals are are not living a good life they're living a shitty life and they're they're suffering a lot. Their whole life is just suffering. The moment they're born till the moment they die, they have no space to move. They're they're fed shitty food, and they're treated as shitty treatment. And then at the end, they kill them. Yeah. And they just cut them up and put them up. And it's <clears throat> it's heartbreaking, man. It's heartbreaking. Like I I'm an eat meat. I'm a meat eater, and I used to eat a lot of meat. You know, I'm the the typical bro. You know, one gram for <laughs> one pound. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if I'm, a, if I'm 165 pounds, I've got to eat 165 grams of protein, yeah, or more. 
Yeah, the, right, the typical right. bro, you know, in the gym, training, lifting heavy, you know, as heavy as I can, and then eating meat. And, you know, I felt good, but I saw the documentary and I'm like, bro, that's crazy. Like, imagine how many animals we are killing every single year just to that's feed right. humans. And to yeah. be honest, you don't need that much meat, man. You don't need, you don't that need much so meat. much meat at all. You don't need it at all. You don't need that much meat. Mm. Like I've, I watched the documentary and thankfully I've dropped my meat a lot. Like I eat meat now once a week, mm. once a week, twice. Once a week I'll have fish. Once a week I'll have some meat, you know. And the rest of the week I'm just eating plants, you know, beans. And, That's a really cool idea. Yeah, it's very cool. It's very nice. And like you said, man, 100%, especially the one, the number one thing that I saw a difference is, is my performance. Mm -hmm. 100%. Like, especially my performance in, in mixed martial arts. You know, I do Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and I do kickboxing and Muay Thai. And that's the number one thing that I saw improvement in. Just like you, the, the, the gym took a time. So I lost some gains, I remember. Like yeah. when I dropped the meat out, I felt my, my performance and I couldn't lift as heavy. But I think I wasn't getting enough calories. So I had to increase my calories, increase my macros. But then once that started coming in, Man, same thing. Bench starts going up. Deadlift starts going up. Squat starts going up. <laughs> yeah. Great feeling. <laughs> it's a great feeling, man. It's very nice. And you feel like you feel light all the time. Yeah, you light. don't have this uh, tired feeling in your body. You're just, you, you can get the things done. Instantly. You know, yeah. one of the problems that I had was, you know, sometimes when I eat like a lot of rice and a lot of chicken, yeah, uh, I would feel full. I would feel very full. And I, I feel like I need to sit down for a few hours to digest it before I can do anything. Now, when I have a big bowl of like beans and some, uh, let's say, rice and some vegetables, uh, maybe some tofu a little bit, I have it and within 30 minutes. I'm ready to go. <laughs> you, you, you are not taking those 15 naps anymore. Eh? I'm not taking these naps no more, bro. It's crazy. Yeah, no, it's, it's a very, very interesting diet. I, I would like to do maybe some some tests, like like yeah. you know, like do some tests now, and do a test again in three months. You know, check my blood levels, check my muscle mass, check all of these things, and see if there is an improvement. You know, see if there's actual like real physiological improvements. And if that happens, which I'm sure it will, that's just that's just a, a big sign that people need to start working towards eating more plants. Mm, and diverting away from meat true. a little bit totally true and yeah you don't need to go fully on the plant-based diet forever you like you said just go for a test if yeah. you like it continue and i can be sure that if if you really care about the endurance and if you really care about being athletic and putting not so much effort in it's it's the best i would say so it's really mm -hmm. easy it's really easy very easy and cheap as well bro cheap as well yeah, especially so right, right now I'm living in Norway. Yeah. For me, dude, it costs a lot, a lot. I have reduced my uh, grocery grocery list for, I would say, two or three hundred uh, dollars. Yeah, let, let's say in dollars. Yeah, dollars, yeah. Two hundred dollars. Because everything else is also expensive here in Norway. But mm -hmm. especially when I reduce the meat, I could save up two or three hundred and I can invest in, in some mentoring. So, or I don't know, I can yes. pay for the photograph to make cool photographies. Exactly, you know? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it saves you a lot of money and it makes you feel good. It makes you feel great. Here's one thing I'm curious about, man. Like you're 95 kgs and you're, yeah, it's like you said, 10%, 9%, 11%, doesn't matter. Yeah, you're lean. <laughs> you're fucking lean. <laughs> the abs are showing, everything's showing. That's all that matters. Yeah, I mean, you're 95 kilos. So I'm curious to know, but I'm sure people who are listening, you know, some of them busy professionals, entrepreneurs, you know, people who have long, work long hours. How did you manage to get to that physique, 95%, 10% body fat? Well, mm. and you work as well. I know you work full time and I know you work, you put in a lot of time. How did you manage to build such a physique? Mm. Uh, this is actually interesting. I have never thought about that. I would say it was it was just a time on consistency. Mm. Yeah, like I said, I already have like big experience. So, but the 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 like the biggest results what I saw, I saw 
four years ago because mm. then I had a really, really good coach with me. And she, he, he just showed me how to, how to build up really good physique, like how to lift heavy and do the right things, you know? And then in the beginning, no one, I, I can guarantee no one is paying attention to the diet. And when you get done with the diet, like the food, what you eat, then you are starting to see more and more results, you know? Okay, I was still in that moment. I was in a normal diet, like you, like a bro who is eating. Yeah, meat. yeah, you're the one grand for one. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, yeah, this is the shittiest diet, bro. <laughs> yeah. uh, not so bad. I, I, not I so can, bad. It I can't result. blame because I builded my physique kind of with it, with that one. Okay. But, but with the plant-based diet, I just polished it out. I okay. nailed it, like okay uh, let's say all the side abs all the 3d look all this uh, pump look it's just yes. from the plan based diet because yes. eating a lot of carbs yes and that's the coolest stuff you eat a lot of carbs no. tons of carbs but you still get shredded yeah um, how much carbs are you eating just to put it out <laughs> something around 400 oh my day <laughs> that's crazy yeah but, but you can do that of course you can do that yeah, I'm 95 kg. Of course, and yeah. I'm also kind of active. I drive yes. a bicycle a lot. I, yeah. I, I work out like one half hour almost every day. Nice. So yeah, I'm I'm kind of active, you know. Nice man. Nice. That's 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 kind of how I built it. Interesting. Just, Interesting. It's not it's not some science, you know. I'm just going and doing the things and doing the right things. Mm. Uh, when I'm in gym, I'm in the gym. I leave other things outside. It's like my meditation place. Yeah, definitely. Done. One and a half hour for me. Nothing can interrupt me. Definitely. And one interesting thing you said is you worked with a coach. And when you worked with a coach is when you got the big gains, right? Yeah. Yeah. Tell us about that, man. I think there's so much value in you. Uh, you know, man, even though you have a lot of experience, uh, you are doing the wrong things, yeah. you know? I, I had like, let's say I was around, I had around six year experience when, when I get the coach. Mm. And the, in the beginning, it was, it was kind of weird. I almost like, no, no, I don't want to work with you anymore. Because he was pointing out so many things on me, like uh, the, the, the posture, the, the technique how I'm doing, you know, the ego lifting mm. thing. Mm. And I was like, ah. But okay, I'm paying to you. I need to really listen to you. Come on. Of course. If I'm going to pay you, of course. So I need to listen. Of course. And yeah, it's, I didn't have like dramatic changes. He just pushed me. That's one thing. He just showed me some, let's say some cool techniques. What, what, I, what I, they look almost the same. Let's say, for example, one cool stuff. I didn't know what is mind connection in the beginning. Yeah. Now, mind connection is everything for me and this is also a really big point what i'm teaching to my clients the mind connection you can kill the muscle with a five kilo dumbbell if you really are into the muscle you know if you are not thinking about the lunch what you're gonna eat or or yesterday what you did if you are really into the muscle you can kill with a super uh, super light weight <laughs> i would say yeah and yeah he just point out me some things like that and Again, that's all what I needed to. Some small accountability. Hey, bro, how is it going? Going well. Okay, let's change something. Because if, uh, let's say, if, if uh, what was working in the beginning is gonna, it's not going to work in the, in the end. So we need to change something. And also, this, this is what I do with my clients. That's the reason why we have this uh, accountability call in each week where we are looking back how it went uh, previous week. We see where we had those small mistakes, what we can change. And we can build up the one more step to move closer to our goal. You know, and this is yeah. how it is. You know, of course, just pointing out some small things. What you are not rec recognizing, what you have to do. You know, mm. because the yeah. ego, ego is the thing what is keeping us from reaching some of the goals. A thousand percent, man. Ego is the number one destroyer of your of your progress. <laughs> Yeah. of your progress and of your you know you getting to your desired outcome and desired result you think you know it all you think even with me man even with me even with me like you know i, 
uh, you know, I've been training for a long time. You know, mm-hmm. I've been training since I was 14 years old, not weightlifting, but I've been in sports since 14 years old. You know, I started with basketball, then I moved on to combat. And then from then I just continued. I started combat around 16 and then I was just continued. It's been 10 years now that I've been doing some form of combat training. So, you know, you'd think I, I know my stuff. I know how to train. I know how to eat. You know, I've been in competitions. I've done this. I've done that. But then you work with a coach and your reality shatters. You're like, man, I don't know anything. Yeah. And the more I work with coaches, the more I realize, dang, there's so much more to learn. So much more to learn. Even even at this level here right now, even if I do this and we both do this for a living, right? We coach people. We coach people on fitness. We do this for a living. That's how we live. Yeah. That's how we live. But despite that, there is, we don't, we haven't even scratched the surface. No, no, we both still have a lot of things to learn. Exactly. You know? But uh, I like that our mentor said that we don't need to be the beast, uh, the best ones. Yes. We just need to be a few more steps further than, than the potential client. Of and, course. And then already they can get a really good result. Of course. And I would say we are really good in this business because we are not the the... Uh, universal guys like the the Mr. Universe. We are not the big bodybuilders because yeah. some of the normal uh, like uh, entrepreneurs or busy professionals they can't resonate with those big guys. Yeah. They actually don't want to be that big, you yes. know. Yes. And this is kind of good selling point for us. We we are just we are just our body is our selling point. Yeah. And we can show them how to reach it of because course. it's it's nothing what they can't. It's yes. something what they can also reach. Yes. And, say- and we'll be, we can help them better than a Mr. Universe because we live their lifestyle. Yeah, just like you, we work full time. We have responsibilities. We have long hours, but we're fit. And we're fit because we have a system in place. We have a structure in place. We know what to do. We have experience of that. And we've helped people do that. So... It was like you said, this is another extra selling point for us because we're not some influencer or some, you know, big YouTuber who's posting videos and crazy things. No, no, no. This is what we do. The core of what we do is we coach people. Yeah, that's what we do. That's where we spend the most of our time. We spend most of our time helping people. On top of that, yes, we post on Instagram. We post on YouTube. We do all of these things. But that's not what we do. What we do is coaching. You know. uh, and, and actually, yeah, people don't actually realize how much uh, side hustle we have, like yeah. how many things we are doing besides. Yes. So it takes a lot of effort and we have to have the diet on the point, the workouts on the point, because also the, the workouts and the dieting, it, it helps for, for, the, for the growth, for the business, for the clear mind, you know. 1,000%. It's like, yeah, I, I would say, yeah, I like that you said that the, they can resonate with us like of really. course yeah because we've lived their life like mm. we, 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 you know I, you know i was talking to my client the other day and i was telling him I was, he was telling me he was like look i don't i feel like i don't have the time you know i said how many hours are you working he said oh i wake up around seven and i work until five i said bro i wake up at six i work until 10 <laughs> yeah i still manage to get lean <laughs> Exactly. And I'm, and I'm lean. Yeah. I work more than you. I guarantee you, I work more than you. And I guarantee you a lot of these fitness coaches, especially for us, because we, um, you know, we run our own businesses. So we have to do everything, right? We have to do everything. We have to do everything. It never finishes. Mm-hmm. It never ends. There's always something we need to do. Yeah. And we still manage to get lean. So having said that, we know exactly what you're going through as a client. We know exactly the problems and the challenges because we're going through the same problems and challenges. Like I said, we're not some influencers who just post videos and that's it. No, we, we have a business we need to run. And at on the, on, on the same time, we're lean and we're fit and we know, we've done it. So we can help you. We yeah, know, how, we know the problems. The yeah. Exactly. And it's actually not like, like I said, it's not the big science behind that. You just do the right things, like the, have the structure on a point, and has, have someone who is showing you the wrong thing, uh, what you are doing wrong. Yes. Who is keeping you accountable? And I would say this is also really 
what I saw why people are not getting the results, why are why they are going for the cheap route where, where they are just buying the the ebooks or uh, quick internet courses. Mm. They don't have accountability, you know, and and that's the reason why they kind of make their uh, fitness journey really hard. Yeah. They don't have someone who is pointing them out. Okay, we are much more expensive, but we can guarantee the results, and that's the reason why why we can because we are all the time on their shoulder. Yeah. We're just pushing them, keeping them accountable. Yeah, that's, that's the best thing, and they can. What's the right word? What I'm looking for here? Um, they can trust us because people in in daily life they have so many questions about the fitness about. Uh, like they have this this small thoughts in in head about the fitness and uh, if they don't have uh, anyone to ask they need to search it in google and it takes so much effort and time Uh, and you can't trust anyone in google too so you really has to have to have a trustworthy person by your side and everybody is unique everybody like literally every physical body is different and what might work for you might not work for me and if you don't have some or if you don't understand this and you don't have someone an expert by your side who understands that then look you could go on google find an advice and actually harm yourself you know and not do something not not help you produce results instead you'll just you'll go backwards you know and that's happened to me and i don't know i'm sure it's happened to you as well you know like of course like, you know, the times where I thought I knew it all. I go Google or YouTube, check out a workout. I try it and I've just been stagnant. And I'm not improving, you know, because I'm not understanding that, hey, look, some things just don't work for me. Every single body is different and you need someone by your side to help you. Another great example is, look, and I say this all the time, fitness, your fitness journey is like climbing a mountain, right? It's like climbing a mountain. Now try climbing the mountain on your own. If you're ever go- going to climb Everest, are you going to climb it on your own? Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. You're not going to come back. <laughs> you're not going to come back from the trip. <laughs> yeah, sure. You're not going to come back. Either you're going to quit halfway through and leave, or if you go all the way to the, to the top, you're not coming back. And that's what happens with a lot of people. Yeah. They quit too soon, too. You have yes. seen, yeah. yeah. They quit yeah. so soon. And, and, and later, when they quit uh, too soon, it's kind of hard to convince them yeah. because they already have failed and they don't trust uh, the process anymore. They're like, I already tried this. It's not going to work anymore because you did something wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And another thing, like, uh, don't make this process hard. It's super simple. Like, just, just, just do the things. And that's it. You don't, you don't, you don't need, you don't need to be the smartest guy. You, mm. ju- you just need to remove the ego and ask someone for the help. That's yeah, it. <laughs> definitely. definitely. Yes. You need to remove the ego and ask for help. And anyone, everyone can use the help. Even I can use help. You know, I, I'm not, I'm not better than you. You know, like people think, oh, you know, you're trying to like, you know, you're trying to tell us to get a fitness. No, no, no. I'm telling you even my, to myself, even me, I need a coach. I need a fitness coach. I need oh. someone who's better than me, who can help me, who can show me the way. Because it's just if you're if you're adopting this, if you're if you're trying to grow, if you're trying to progress, if you're trying to get better as a human. And here's the thing: look, being the times I've been the most productive at work is the times where I've been the fittest and the times where I've eaten the cleanest, where my diet is the best and my and I'm the fittest, this is the time where I've been the most productive in my business. Yeah. So it's not just about you just getting fit and that's it, getting the abs. But no, when you're fit, everything else around you in your life is going to improve. The quality of your life will improve. I like this. I like this. I have a special step in my coaching where what is called make the plate work for you, not you work for the plate. Yes. See? And when you learn how to make the plate work for you you can get the things done you can just you're like oh where i have this extra energy maybe i should do more things on my business maybe i can put more time into it you know like so much cool stuff and yeah one more thing of what i want to say yeah i hope you see a lot of world champions they still have the coaches Mm. for example i have this classmate 
uh, he's MX, MX2, one of the world's best drivers. Right. He still have the coach. Of course. See? Right. Even the coach maybe didn't have that good results like he have now. He right. still can point out some cool stuff. And he can get better and better and he can grow. Of course. Just just how it is. Need of someone inside <clears throat> to grow, I would say, yeah. Very interesting that you say that. Because you're right, every world champion, not just athlete, every world champion has a coach. Has a coach. Like Lewis Hamilton, just just get the seventh world champion title. Yes. He's the best in the world, like in history. He 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 beat the Schumacher's uh, results now. Re record, yes. Record, yeah. Even then, he had a coach. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> that's insane. It's so cool. That's insane. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's um, and people don't understand that, but it's changing. It's definitely changing. It's changing. Yeah, it's changing. I also uh, did this mistake when when I started to build my business. Yeah, I started to do it by myself. But if I don't have this, and there is no clear uh, road to success in the internet. It, yeah. it, it just mixed up. Of course. And if your brain power is not strong enough, you can't figure out how to put those dots uh, in the right order to reach the goal, you know? Of course. You really need someone who is showing the, the structure, like, like Max for us. Of course. Yeah. He just showed us. He just showed us how to, how to get the clients, how to... How to give them the best results of course because of him we are of here course. of course <laughs> man. a thousand percent man like you know i was i was uh, i was lucky enough in that i started this with max i didn't do it on my own but oh. i'll tell you why i didn't do it on my own i didn't do it on my own because i didn't know what to do mm. i didn't know what to do like and you, you were know. lucky and I, yeah i started with max and thankfully honestly I've built a business, you know, he's helped me and he showed me the way. And yeah, every, not just Max, everyone, or the whole team, the whole FBM team. Yeah, of course. Everyone, you know, Nikita, Joseph, Robert, you know, Pedro. I love those guys. Ian, I love those guys. Yeah, these guys are killers, man, honestly. These guys, they're, you know, and they just call you out like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you sit on your chair and you're just... Yeah, like they can do, they can do. Ah, oh, damn, man, they call you out. Like, but you need it, man. Everyone needs that. Need, need. It's so important. Like, so here's the thing. You know, I get asked this a lot. I'm like, why, why do you enjoy going to a gym, a dojo, and getting beat up? Yeah, why do you enjoy going and fighting and doing that? What What is it about? Like, who 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 would enjoy that? I'll tell you why I enjoy it. Because when I go there, I get checked every time. I get a reality check every single time when i'm too much in my head when i'm getting arrogant when i'm like thinking too much of myself i go there and we shake hands and no talking and we go a hundred percent and we try to choke each other out and it's the realest situation you can be in <laughs> yeah and it checks you and it keeps you humble and it keeps you straight and that helps you improve more this because now you're not arrogant anymore. You don't think too much of yourself. You're willing to learn. You're willing to grow. You have that growth mindset. Mm -hmm. And because of those check, harsh check-ins that you get all the single, all, every single time. And everyone needs that in their life. If you're, if you're trying to progress, if you're trying to grow, whether it's in your business, whether it's in your fitness, whether it's in whatever, you need that in your life. If you don't have that, you're not going to grow. Because you think you are good. Exactly. Everything is good. But actually, reality check is just kicking you straight in the <laughs> oh, straight in the ass, man. Yeah, everyone needs it. Everyone needs it. Yeah, yeah man, that's great. All right, man. I'm. I'm. Uh, so another thing I wanted to ask you. So you said you mentioned that you competed, yeah, on stage. Yeah, I competed. Okay. When did? You, when was the last time you competed? 2013. Okay. Seven years ago. Yeah, I was really young, man. I was. I was. 15 or 16 years old when I competed and my body weight was 85 I was really wow. like I was like five five kilos wow. five percent something like that wow five percent yeah five percent wow and but but I never understood why I was this heavy and why I wasn't that big you know more maybe because I had those big legs, 
the, the craziest stuff was when I was uh, competing in, uh, in on the stage. Yeah. I was competing to all the bodybuilders. Like yeah. uh, I didn't have this uh, uh, different uh, class, for example, for for the beginners, and I was just together with the bodybuilders. Yeah. And when I look back on the pictures right now, my legs were better than their the, the, their bodybuilder legs. Damn. Like, my calves were like at least two or three centimeters bigger and and also the 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 quads they were just the killers i was like the quadzilla, quadzilla. <laughs> <laughs> nice man nice. so yeah the upper body always was um was my weak point i would say nice and yeah that was really cool experience man it was uh, a lot of uh, about understanding me about what i can handle uh, because th- this this dieting stuff when you're really cutting down it's actually really hard in your brain too oh my you, God. you are also losing the energy you're losing uh you're losing the the, uh, the str- uh, strength in the gym yes. Yes. if you do it naturally of course oh, and then yeah. yeah and it was really hard uh I, actually and i would say i was too young when i started to because uh, i i had to use my own finances what, yeah. what I have earned, like, you know, 15 years old, how much I could earn, like nothing. I was working summer job. Uh, I earned something, but I put everything into the, into the fitness, all the supplements, all the, the dieting, all the paying for, for, for just, uh, for the joining to the competition, you know, mm-hmm. it was expensive. And maybe I, if I would do it a little bit later, I would still continue this because I, I really had like really good possibility that I could kick a lot of guy asses, you know? Yeah. I was in pretty good shape. I just needed to put more effort. Maybe I need to help coach faster. I needed to have a little bit better people around me, you know, to, to, to just get that motivation to just have someone who is kicking my ass. Come yeah. on, let's go. Let's do this. You know? Of course. Really no. good interesting that you say you mentioned that yes it's very hard psychologically when you diet this hard uh, i know what you're talking about of course i didn't do it as as, as uh, i've never competed but i've been on diets and mm-hmm. i've been on a very strict diets and psychologically like you said that's the most difficult part it's the psychological part how did you manage to recover from that how are you recovering after like after the diet was done what would you usually do about and do. man you know there is those phases when you are doing the carb cycling and 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 uh, reducing the water yeah from that moment when i reduce the water i love water i am not drinking anything else water is always with me like mm-hmm. i'm not drinking the the fanta the cokes and nothing i'm just drinking the water from that moment i started to love it really and uh, recovering is good it's easy in the moment when you are off the stage, you you can you you load up the carbs. Yeah. Everything is fine, but the preparing for it it is really hard because you are cutting down the carbs, yes. almost zero, and, uh, and then the brain goes nuts. You are so sensitive. You are you, you get pissed off really fast, yeah. really fast, and <laughs> yeah, that's one more uh, good good thing because. No, not a good thing. Yeah, <laughs> I was lucky that I had a girlfriend who who understand me in nice. that time. Nice. Because I was I was really I was like really like stressful in the last nice. period before for the uh, before the competition. But probably now I could fix the thing much better. Like I could I could fix my diet even better that I'm not getting this. The, this this bad in uh, in a uh, in a brain mm. because uh, like like right now I'm kind of lean so to get to the five percent body fat it wouldn't be a big problem for me yeah, especially sure. on a vegan diet I'm not gonna cut out the carbs exactly I, I would keep the carbs the same I would cut out the pro uh, the, the fat I would cut out a little bit of protein and maybe a little bit reduce the 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 carbs and do a little bit more cardio. And I would reach my goal, for sure, easy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah on the normal diet, you have to have, well, you have to cut the carbs down, to, to shock your body, and then you need to load up the carbs right before the stage to look pumped. Exactly. But but I have this pumped, 
uh, pump looked all the time because I have all the time carbs in me. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. It's, interesting. It's interesting. Yeah, it's already a long time when I haven't done this. I forget a lot of things about the co- preparing for the competition. It's it's just different kitchen, man. It's not like a normal diet. It's not like a normal fat loss. Of course. It's, it's different. Because if you do something wrong, you can lose a tons of muscle. We don't want to lose the muscle. <laughs> Especially when you are natural, you want to build like um, as much as po- as much lean po- muscle as possible. But you can lose it as fast as possible too. You know? <laughs> yeah, 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 of course. And it's hard building muscle. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's I hope this now. Now what I'm testing out um, with one of my gym buddies now. That's uh, and also the cool stuff is with this plant based diet that I'm doing. I am changing my environment. What is around me and uh, so many people around me have tried. They're they're testing it out. And now my gym buddy was all the time eating meat and he was like, oh, I want to eat meat. I'm not going to do this plant-based diet. You're, oh, come on, I'm not that kind of guy. And now we are testing out actually how much lean muscle we can build with this um, plant-based diet. Very nice. Really cool stuff. So far we are in uh, two months and he have already built like three kilograms super lean muscle. Nice. And that's, that's, that's not something super impressive, of course. <laughs> you can build more if you take some juice you know but uh, yeah, the juice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but doing that naturally three kilograms in two months two and a half months it's insane it's insane it's insane that's crazy bro yeah and and this, this guy is also shocked he was in the beginning he was like yeah i'm gonna test for three months and now he's like Probably I will eat meat only one or two times in a year in Christmas or when I'm going to visit my parents. That's it. Yeah. Interesting. Very, very interesting. And that yeah. guy is getting stronger. He's, he's just getting stronger. Yeah. He's insane. Monster. <laughs> yeah, that's very, very interesting, man. Very interesting. Yeah. Three, three kilos in three months. That's, that's very impressive. Uh, we are we are well, he's uh, now 79 we are aiming for 80 in the end of this month so if he will get 80 this month uh, so that means in three months we will be gained like four kilograms four kilograms wow and that's and, majority lean muscle of course yeah 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 because this guy is already super shredded he's he's naturally like six seven percent and he can't he can't get uh Fair. Fat, yeah, for sure. He he's uh, he have really good genetics, and uh, and we can see that he's not getting fatter. He's in the in the same body fat. He's just getting heavier. He's just yeah. growing the arms, the legs, the everything is just growing. Wow, and it's insane. Wow. So yeah, I can't can't wait in the end of this month. So, yeah, now it's twenty two. So I guess at thirty of uh, November we're gonna make an interview about with him. We're gonna explain how we did it. And it's gonna be cool. It's gonna nice, be cool. man. Nice. That's amazing. That's great. Nice, man. Honestly, this uh, exciting times. Exciting times for 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 the plan based. For uh, hey, for actually, I want to ask you uh, something about uh, the COVID time and and this. Yes. Some people are scared to do it now. You mean the what? The vaccine? No, no, no. Like. Uh, Oh, come on, I don't want to invest the money now, the COVID and everything. What do you say to them? Fam, this is the best time to do it. <laughs> this is the best time to do it. I understand people. I think that's their initial reaction. Like when, when the first thing, oh, it's COVID. I don't know if I should do it. But to be honest with you, this is the best time to do it. And I'll explain to you why. Because here's the thing. You're at home. You're not doing anything. All the distractions are not there you don't have to eat out you can cook all your food and you stay at the comfort of your home and you work out and you get to just focus on yourself you know being in your environment and look whenever in what time in your life are you ever going to have that and within your life you're probably going to be at work or you're going to be with family or you're going to be with friends or you're going to be out you don't spend people don't spend a lot of time at home now you have the privilege to be at home. So focus on improving your physique because you have the time. 100%. Yeah. 100%. What do you tell them? 
What do you almost think? the same. Almost the same. Like, I, I totally agree with this. This is the best time. You don't have anything else to do. You can't go out. You can't go eat in a restaurant. See? Now, you can save up some money on just the diet, on yes. just eating the right things. Yes. And in the end of the, uh, this uh, lockdown, you're going to come out the best version of yourself. See? Exactly. Like a beast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Of course, yeah. Why? I mean, yeah, it's... And people understand that, I think. Like, when you explain it to them, they kind of understand it, you know, they kind of say... I would say some of, some of the clients who are intermediate and advanced they may all may maybe they may get affected because they're used to going to the gym you know so they may need to maintain at home yeah. they're not going to like build three kilos of muscle and yeah, of course. You know, they're not because they just don't have the stimulus they don't have the equipment but they can maintain but someone who's not an intermediate who's not an advanced when i say intermediate advanced i mean already ripped and shredded already in shape not the guy who's been training in the gym for five years but he has nobody there's a lot of those people out there yeah like yeah they've, of course. yeah they've been in the gym for five years but they don't look fit they don't look like they train they don't look like they do anything because they're not doing it right even for those people who may consider the intermediate even for those people being at home getting a coach and training is going to get you tremendous results tremendous tremendous results. because the first kilograms what you can lose they come off so easy so easy Fly to get down to 15% of body fat. It's just the easiest thing ever. Yeah. It's like, you know, like, you know, you know how Max says, you know, you can be a donkey and you can make 10K a month. You know, anyone can make 10K a month. <laughs> yeah. Anyone agree. can make 20, 25K a month. 50K a month and above. Okay. You may need to like have some really, really put in the work and really, yeah, really, have put really in the work, work ethic. Yeah. Exactly. It's the same thing with fitness. Getting down to 15%, any donkey can do it. <laughs> yeah. Getting down to 10% is a little bit harder, but any donkey can do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Getting below 10%, if you're trying to get to 7%, 5%, okay, yeah, that, that, you need to be a bit special here, you know. Yeah. But, you know, before that, 10K and above, anyone can do it. Anyone can get down to 10K and 10% 10 and above. If you do the right things and you follow it correctly, you will get there. It's just like you have, to, it's like you cannot not get there. <laughs> 100%. You know, it, it, again, it just brings back to our to previous point. They are just scared because they had like bad previous experience. Of course, of course. Yeah, of course. Mm. Nice, man. Uh, just finishing thoughts. You know, we've been talking for an hour now. Finishing oh. thoughts. Oh, yeah. Um, so, where, before we where people can find you know of course we'll say that but where do you see yourself in three five years from now i'm interested to know man this is really good question i i can talk one more hour about this yeah, yeah, yeah you can easily <laughs> talk another <laughs> that's why i left it to the last <laughs> so you can go for another oh, hour man. i re really my my big goal is i want to help thousand people yes. get in their the best shape and be the healthiest myself in 22 of uh, 8th of the sep September. So I have two more years. So 8th of September, 2022, you want to help a thousand people, yeah? A thousand people. That's a great, that's great goal. And that means I need to build the team. Yes. And that means I has to have a really good work ethic. Yes. That means I have to invest a ton of money in myself. <laughs> yes. That means I'm going to grow like every day. I'm going to learn a new things every day. I need to, I just need to grow. Yes. And yeah, I really see me doing this, you know, because if I can change thousand people lives, man, look at the environment, yes. how it would change, how many lives they can change. Of course. After that, how many people they can motivate after that. Of course. That's a that's a powerful goal, though. That's a powerful goal, honestly. Yeah, man. A thousand people, and that's look, man. That's actually what we do. That's like, what we do. When we transform someone's life, a true transformation. 
look, yeah, it can be nice before and after. Oh, very nice. But a true transformation doesn't just transform them, but transforms everyone around them. When people see you transformed your body, they come to you and they ask for help, especially your close people, your relatives, your siblings, brothers, sisters, mother, so on and so forth. I've seen it with myself and I've seen it exactly. And I've seen it with all my clients. So by you changing a thousand people, you're potentially changing 5,000, you know, 5,000 lives, even more, maybe. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. I already see my clients who are getting the results. They, they're showing them in uh, their, let's say, Instagram or Facebook feed. They're already motivating, motivating others. And yeah. it's just, it's just a good feeling. It's like, warm feeling around your heart like ah oh, yes. i did this i changed this thing i changed this life of course so cool. of course and you yeah. where you see yourself after five years man um it would look very similar to you man very similar i was thinking about it this morning actually what do i see myself in five three five years from now well for sure i want to be i want to be known in five years from now so yeah three years from now I want to be known as someone that people can come to, that they trust, that can, that can, that can trust to transform their body. Mm. Yeah, like I am known in the world, in the English-speaking world, English, UK, and America, because I have a few clients in America as well. I want to be known as the person who, if I want to transform my body, I go to this guy. This guy is the best. He is the one who's going to transform my body. And I want to, that's the reputation I want to have in three years. And like you said, to do that, I need a team. I need a loyal team, you know. Loyal and team, A players. Of A players, 100%. And to have a team, I need to put in the work every single day. And like you said, I need to invest in myself. Everything I have, invest in myself and grow and get bigger and get more people on and help more people. And man, one of the things when we spoke a few days ago, there's one thing you said that's very powerful. He was like, look, these clients, you're changing their life and they're changing your life. Mm, yeah, it is. And, and it's in your interest and it's in their interest for us to work together. Because, win -win. because it's a win-win. Our interests are aligned. You change my life, I change your life. You allow me to do this by helping people and I am changing your fitness life and you're becoming healthier and you're becoming fitter. And that, if I can get it to a level where I'm changing thousands of people's lives and they're changing my life, then that is, that is the goal, right? That is the goal. That's what we're working towards. That's the goal. I love it. I love it. hundred percent. hundred percent. Yeah, man. A thousand percent. Well, yeah, man, a thousand percent. <laughs> a thousand percent, yeah, man. Well, man, so, you know, where, where can people find you if they want to work with you, if they want to, like, jump on your coaching? How can they find you? How can they get to you? Uh, basically, you, you, anyone who is listening one, one, can, hand, can find me in the Instagram, uh, Martin's Stuff slash, yeah, yeah, Instagram Martin's Stuff. <laughs> oh, I'll tag it. I'll tag it in the description. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll put it in the description. Yeah. And in Facebook, uh, Martin's Barnowskis. So I have this uh, long sur surname, but I'm sure that anyone can find it. Yeah, yeah, anyone can find it. It's, it's in the background here as well. So if anyone wants to see it, oh, yeah. it's right here. Nice, man. Soon come YouTube as well. Yeah. YouTube. Yeah, and... slowly and steadily building it up. Building yes. It up. Yes. Well, if you ever need help, bro, let me know, man. I'll be yeah, glad to help you out. Sure. I haven't been doing much YouTube. Like I did, I think, 10. 12, 13 videos. And then I stopped. I started podcasting a bit more because it's just a bit I, more I like the podcasting stuff actually more. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. I would say I will think about this one. This yeah, is it's a lot of fun. And also the people get to know you personally because you're talking and you're giving advice and you're giving value. YouTube is nice. Don't don't get me wrong. I still do I was still gonna do YouTube, but I don't I don't do it as much. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Amazing. Amazing, man. Um, yeah. yeah. So Martin, you can find him on his uh, Instagram. I'm going to tag him in, you know, I'm sure they can book a free consulting call with you as well. Yeah. So if you're looking for it to be, to go on a plant-based diet, well, that's the man right here. He's got the experience. He's got the results. He's already doing it. And I can tell you, he's very good. I can tell you for sure. He's very, very good. So if you are interested in a plant-based diet, reach out to him. 
or and then you can also reach out to your boy the man himself <laughs> yeah you can reach me on uh, mosaicfitnesscoaching.com the website or you can simply you know go to my instagram mosaic fitness coaching send me a dm and then we can book a free consulting call and we'll see if and how we can change your life yeah and uh, anything else martin you want to say oh awesome awesome call Awesome call, man. Great call. We should do this more. We should definitely do this more. This is, yeah, we should do this on a regular. Agree, man. Have a great day, everyone. Stay healthy and stay away from Corona. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye-bye.